A fan favorite movie or TV character begins with the perfect cast, and perfect isn't always obvious from the start. Sometimes directors or actors find out too late that a role or performance just isn't going to cut it, leaving studios scrambling to find replacements. They may be hard to believe, but here are 10 actors who got fired or replaced during production. Ryan Gosling in The Lovely Bones these days, it's hard to imagine Ryan Gosling being replaced from any movie. But when he showed up on the set for this novel adaptation weighing in at 210 pounds, director Peter Jackson was shocked. Gosling figured that gaining 60 pounds was right for the role, but Jackson didn't. Mark Wahlberg was brought in, and Gosling headed back to the gym. Rebecca Gayhart in Firefly Few TV shows airing for less than one season are as loved as Joss Whedon's space western. And the same goes for the cast. But before Morena Baccarin landed the role of Inara Sara, the part was filled by actress Rebecca Gayhart. When the shoot began, Whedon knew the chemistry was wrong and made sure to shoot the other characters around her for the pilot. Inara is alone in most of her intro shots because the footage from the previous shoot was used for the other actors. Samantha Morton in her. Spike Jones posed a powerful question. Could you fall in love with an operating system if it had the voice of Scarlett Johansson? But that wasn't always the plan. Actress Samantha Morton actually voiced the AI character for the entire shoot opposite Joaquin Phoenix. But when it came time to record the final voice, Jones felt something was off. Johansson was brought in, and a Best Picture nomination wasn't far behind. Sean Young in Batman In hindsight, it's hard to think of a better pair than Michael Keaton's Batman and Kim Basinger's Vicki Vale in Tim Burton's Batman. But the actress only won the role after Sean Young had to drop out, literally. While practicing for a horse riding scene with Keaton, she fell off and broke her leg. The producers panicked, but Basinger came swooping in, and no one ever looked back. Josh Hellman in X-Men Days of Future Past When it was still first-class director Matthew Vaughn in charge of the time-traveling X-Men tale, it was going to be a young juggernaut who broke Magneto out of prison, with actor Josh Hellman cast in the role. But once Brian Singer took the reins with an eye for a super-speed Quicksilver, the part was scrapped. Luckily, he found a role for Hellman as a young Colonel Stryker, the human arch-nemesis of Charles Xavier's young students. Scott Glenn in Sons of Anarchy It's hard to imagine anyone else but Ron Perlman in the role of Clay Mora, but when the pilot of Sons of Anarchy began filming, it was another grey grizzled actor in the role of the club's leader, Scott Glenn. The entire episode was filled with Glenn, before Perlman was brought in to reshoot everything. But look close at the gang running from the explosion in the pilot, and you'll spot Glenn, not Perlman, leading the pack. Amy Purdy in Kingsman Who could forget Gazelle? the Kingsman henchwoman with razor-sharp prosthetic blades for legs. But did you know the original plan was to actually have double amputee Paralympian Amy Purdy play the part? She went as far as wirework rehearsals, but when the movie got delayed and jeopardized Purdy's Olympic training, she had to pass it up. Lou Ferrigno in Gladiator Ridley Scott's epic paid tribute to plenty of classic Swords and Sandals Gladiator films, but it almost included one massive cameo. Lou Ferrigno, a veteran of the genre in his early film career before playing the Incredible Hulk, was set to play the massive gladiator Tigris of Gaul in the Tiger-filled arena sequence. But during production, Danish bodybuilder Sven Ole Thorsen campaigned for the part and won it, leaving us to forever wonder who would win in a fight, the Hulk or Superman's dad? Eminem in Southpaw When the producers of Southpaw decided it was time for a different kind of boxing movie, they knew just how to make it. By casting rapper Eminem in a spiritual sequel to his critic-stunning role in the semi-autobiographical 8 Mile. Knowing the rapper's history, he was pitched the idea of a down-and-out boxer fighting for his daughter. And Eminem signed on, kicking the project into high gear. The creator of Sons of Anarchy wrote the script, former amateur boxer Antoine Fuqua signed on to direct, and his meeting with Eminem went perfectly. But just before he was about to start his training, the rapper decided another album had to come out first. Jake Gyllenhaal was brought in instead, and after gaining the muscle needed, cameras rolled. Christian Bale in American Psycho Just because you've been replaced on a film doesn't mean you won't still get the part. When director Mary Herron looked to adapt the novel American Psycho, she knew Christian Bale was the man for the role. But the studio had its doubts. No one was more surprised than Bale when Leonardo DiCaprio was announced to have signed on, pushing both its star and director out. But the duo stayed determined with Bale even telling Ewan McGregor not to accept the studio's offer until they finally returned to their original picks. Those are just a few of the cases where a role turned out completely different than it might have originally, but there's plenty more to choose from. Let us know your own favorites in the comments, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.